when I think he realised that he was, he was very ill. And like every family, we'd had our disagreements over the years, but we had a fairly serious falling out over this. Uh, oh, um, we're doing cruises in the Caribbean and just... Once you get involved in business you don't understand, uh, very often things get very rocky. And we had our problems and our battles and so on, but um, he came down to Ring and we had to get together down in Moniz and we had a couple of pints and we hugged each other and said, what the hell were we fighting about? A few dollars or some misunderstanding, nonsense. Let's have a song. So we had a great session that night. Sweating our coats, growing up, growing old, our time. The next time we met was at my sister's funeral. He only, he did, he only lasted five days after my sister. You know? And again, we had a couple of pints, and he, uh, he said, I've been thinking about those trees you put in down there. He said, they do an awful lot better now if you were to take some off the top, eucalyptus trees. And he said, those, uh, those big uh, large trees that I put up, he said, I'm going to top those now in the spring. He said that uh, they're getting a bit out of hand. I always assumed, and everybody assumes, they're going to be famous. It's like the fella, who was it? I was, wrote recently, I was reading him, he died. He was a playwright. He wrote Time of Your Life. Anyway, he, he got cancer and he was dying. And he, his own epitaph was very nice. He said, I always knew that death was inevitable. But I always thought somehow it would be an exception in my case. I think we all feel that somewhat. Oh, all the money that ever I spent I spend it in good company And all the harm that e'er I've done Alas, it was to none but me And all I've done for want of wit To memory now I can't Good night and joy.